I'm going to show you why getting information at home from these testing companies who want to help you know where you stand so you have confidence in your plan is complete BS. When you want to confirm ovulation, at-home testing is great because you can do it a few months in a row over a long period of time using your LH and using PDG, which is uh, testing for progesterone levels after ovulation, which is crucial for maintaining a healthy pregnancy. But all this other stuff will send you fucking spiraling down into a deep dark hole thinking that your fertility is awful and there's nothing you can do about it, especially your FSH and your AMH. But I'm going to talk about FSH today because I literally just turned down a brand deal because at the top of their testing was FSH. On So hormonal pathways are crazy complicated. So we're going to stick to this really easy graph for you to see. Everything starts up in your brain. Your hypothalamus, your pituitary, and your penile gland is the thing that kickstarts your fertility. Your GNRH is a precursor to your FSH. In Silence Daily, they have proven in a laboratory that your RFRP nerves become active and in stressful situations suppress the reproductive system. These RFRP nerves are a precursor to your GNRH neurons, and these go down to FSH, LH, also your estradiol levels, your progesterone, your, I mean, all of it. It has a huge impact on it, but it all starts up from your mental and emotional health, your stress levels. So this will fluctuate depending on your cellular health. And so when you test your FSH at home or even with your doctor, you get a negative result, then you're left thinking that you don't have enough ovarian reserve. Just know, confidently know, that you can change these results. They are literally a snapshot in time of your past, not of your future.